Hello everybody and welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Today I'm going to do stage frigid flight, and I will do next one, because this one is short so let's start. Frigid flight is the third and final relic course the player reaches. It is located in the third quadrant of the valley. As its name implies the player needs the propeller dagger to clear it. I'm going to speed it up from here. So I will see you. When I finish it. So let's do the next stage tower of fate entrance. Right at the beginning you can go to left. And let's what can we fish out in that sparkling pit. It's trouble. And finally I can get itcher from the trouble, because I finally drank one of itcher that I had. And I don't know if I said this, but this is the best teacher you can get. So this level is a remixture of various elements of the previous levels. This room is dedicated to Mole Knight stage, and enemies are also from Mole Knight stage. Those firefishes will pop out from the pits. Now we have Spellbook from King Knight stage. I think this is much quicker than one in King Knight stage, but don't quote me on that. Oh my god, how sick was that? Don't stay for too long on platforms, because they drop down, and you will end up in the pit from the last room. Just move quick you see shovel drop. You can cross this gap in two ways, you can use shovel drop, or use propeller dagger. A new enemy. Black Griffiths only appear at Tower of Fate. Entrance. They are red feathered with black armor and fur, and bright green eyes. The only difference with their regular counterpart, is that they always drop a bomb instead of a turkey upon death. Hazards are also placed in front of them, making navigating and dodging their fire trickier. And in this room, is Plague Minion from Plague Knight stage on easily destroyable blocks best combination. And first checkpoint of the level this part is hardest part of this level. Let me tell you why. Because if the platform crash you it's insta kill. So you need to move quick. And try not to stay under. And to spice this part up we have a fairy enemy to chase you around. Oh my god I did it again at times in this level. You need to break the wall down there, so you can hide. First music sheet is right there. And another enemy from Plague Knight stage. Two of them.
and checkpoint now we have chandelier from king knight stages before we had spell books now we have chandeliers a new enemy the red liquid samurai the swordsman once their foe gets too close they will charge at them and will try to kill their foe using their sword upon defeat they drop two red gems worth 50 gold and a jar they can be seen in the credits among other cutscenes. While their speed can make them difficult to hit, they can be defeated easily with ranged relics, etc. One weakness which makes them easily avoided, is their tendency to run off ledges, often onto spikes, defeating them. And we have one more. The green liquid samurai are archers. Unlike the swordsmen, they try to maintain distance from their foe and instead strike them with arrows. Like most projectiles, these arrows can be reflected back toward the archer who fired them. They drop two red gems worth 50 gold when killed. They will try to run, or jump away from their foe when approached, and will often perform the burst fire move when jumping. And checkpoint. Bomb here. Bomb here as well. Now Spectre Knight remit all dark here. In some part you need to look where's raining. Sparkling pit right here so let's see what we gonna get. And second music sheet is right here. And in this part you can use rain to be guide where you can go. And final checkpoint in this level. This is the final battle against Black Knight the battle starts similarly, except when using his purple projectile attack he will instead phase across the screen launching them. After a while during the battle, he will grow wings, which will fire forms upon being released. In this form he will occasionally summon large meteors to strike the earth, with two meteors staying on the ground, that will cause damage, to shovel knight upon contact. These cannot be destroyed by the player, but can by Black Knight who will occasionally shovel drop onto them, causing them to explode. After a while his wings will disappear, and he will retake his previous strategies, occasionally growing them again to restart the cycle. He also has a more powerful shovel dirt attack, which will launch multiple debris imbued with purple energy. Glowing debris can be reflected, by attacking with the shovel. And goodbye Black Knight.
Let's give Bard his music sheets. So we have 3 music sheets, 2 music sheets from Tower of Fate are called End of Days and the Fateful Return and Frigid Flight is called the Requiem of Shield Knight. And I'm going to end part right here I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next one.